Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays RimWorld 1.0. The trade caravan from the Grand Alliance is leaving for Django. I'm cool with that. Microton saw a little bit of a mechanoid. Oh, jeez. No, they deconstructed some of them. Don't disassemble mechanoids ever again. Off limits. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. Mystical Shaman, nah. Okay, summon mechanoids over here in Fort Django now. Oh, that was a mistake. Rightly, the engineer has no longer inspired now that she has created a... Or excuse me, he has created... It's a bot. Could be whichever gender you want, honestly, when you're a mechanical. Who, who really even cares? Or you're biological, I don't care anymore. Uh, I don't know if I did in the first place. I'm a nice masterwork dresser, though. Engraved with an artwork of politicians playing poker. Beautifully done. We're waiting for this asteroid. And by that, I mean we're waiting for Dirk to mine the asteroid. And right now, I don't know if you're going to find anything else in this direction here, Dirk. But fingers crossed, I guess. We're also expanding our ship, and this is somewhere I'm super excited about. This expansion going on. Because we'll be able to put even more duds in here. I'm thinking... I keep thinking. I should probably stop, because I don't know if it's dangerous or not. Make one of the areas dedicated to... Residential. Move residential down here move the growing area over here you know put in a couple of suns over here and then just surround this place with even more plants problem is what would we do with this area then now i guess we could use this as general storage for the time being that might be sufficient but i don't know for sure All right, well, Microton, thanks to my mistake, kind of just ruined that whole raid for us. They left three centipedes. Ugh. Disgusting. I needed so much more than that. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. And by we, I mean Fort Jangle. Fort Jangle will deal with it. Okay. Once the residential area is up, I think we'll be ready to get some more people coming up into space. Probably get some of the bots up here, too. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll keep the bots down here. And the bots can practically run Ragamuffin City. I mean, I think they practically do anyway. To be honest with you. The only problem with space is that people get cabin fever hard. I mean, Big Dog doesn't have it because he's got the suit. The Urus, though, feels like he's trapped underground. He can go out. He just hasn't. <laughs> you know? Gigi won't care. I mean, Gigi can go out in space. She doesn't like it. I'm kind of curious what mood she gets when she's in the Eva suit, if any. Because, you know, other people, when they're out there, they get this, like, mood buff. Does she get a mood debuff when she's out in, out here in space? I might have seen it before, but... Oh, yeah. Why am I doing this? <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Undergrounder doesn't like it. Well, sorry, Gigi. I mean, you can stay inside if you want to. I'm just... You know, I'm gonna let you be free to do what you want. <laughs> Because of his mental state. Oh. That 15 is broken down and is wandering around in sadness. has happened because of poor mood. That was here. 2.3 days before they get to their destination. So we'll hope that goes okay. And that he's recovered by then. Worst case scenario, he's not recovered by then. And we just deal with it, yo. Okay, there's more steel up here. There's definitely more to do. Hi, Derek. How you doing? 
How are we doing down here? Omnibot working on another nuclear warhead. We got one ready. We may have five ready eventually. Launch ABCBM. Oh, we could require that man sack. Uh, I kind of want to like see how far I could shoot it. I think you can jump on this real quick. Does it still have a range to it? Yo, it's man, dude. It, okay, I was gonna say. It does not have a range to it anymore. But you can't shoot it at invalid targets, so... That's good to know. You could shoot it into space! That's lovely. That's good to know. That That's all I wanted to find out. So we don't even have to. I mean, the idea of bringing it to space is definitely a fun one, but we don't have to do that. At all. Where'd all of our plutonium go, dude? Like, we only built one of these, right? Or have we built all of the warheads already? Nah, it says just make one. If we build more, I don't know what happened to them. Oh no! Guys, burning lamb. Miss Mask is going for it. Who managed to avoid any damage, by the way, during that battle, which is kind of impressive. Wow, Rumo, you got hit hard. You know, you got slapped in the voltage adapter. Maybe you want to lay down for a bit. And by that, I mean go lay down for a bit. Not asking you. Kind of telling you. She's trying to save this dang lamb. Alright, we got people way spread out over here. We actually have like, we have six groups of people. I didn't even know the game could handle that. Which, to be fair, with Alex chugging, maybe it can't. Alright. I guess we're not going to get anything down here. Oh, there goes the devil sheep. We did not save it in time. Uh, we're not going to get anything down here in these little chunks, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel those. There still might be something in the center of this spot. So until that's proven one way or the other, I'm going to keep it there. This is just a big chunk of silver flying through space. Ain't that nifty? The answer is yes, it's nifty. All right. Nice chunk of silver. What are we going for next, my dude? Is that a chunk of uranium? Yep. Is that what you're going for? Yep. Tear it down. It's like, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna get you. Get got. All right. I mean, the titanium was already there, so... Cool, but if you need to say that you caught it, then good for you. Uh, mood seems to be fluctuating here, right on the line. Which is unfortunate. Apparently partially due to a, an unsightly environment. Thinking we need more sky cloud going on. Uh, let's go down to... Poor Django. Throw some more brains. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Let's go to this. Let's go to core two. Make some more thefts and then put them on assistance. That's going to be the plan. I think we'll ha we'll have ten up here on core two, and then we'll uh, everything above ten will go on assistance. Dang it! We failed to hack this one, but nothing serious happened. Try it again. I want that emergency signal, dude. 
Uh, when you say we struck jade and steel, I mean, we got a little bit of it. Still, the steel is always nice. All right, Dirk. We're not getting anything out of those. We're not getting anything out of this. We're not getting anything out of those. Okay. Just trying to lighten your load a tiny, tiny bit. And we'll see what's going on over here. Beautiful. He has arrived. In a new chunk of space. Okay. That is mostly salt and blue steel, huh? Nothing we really need in this day and age. Oh, there's more blue steel there, though. Okay, this is nothing. This is nothing. It's like playing reverse minesweeper. And that's all just salt, but whatever. We could pick up the salt. I mean, we could consider salting meats one day. Okay, anything on this rock? Let's go ahead and just cancel the out outer shell now. Since we know there's nothing out there, we've already gotten in. This is all nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty empty. Alright. That's it. One more segment down there to get. Uh, Nightling is hunting a devil sheep for food. Well, you're about to get some business, dude. Other Nightlings nearby have also revenged. So, two Nightlings. Alright. Bring it! That was a little bit overkill on that one, but okay. Another orbital site, man. Nice. Very good against single targets. Okay. Couple more to go for Dirk here. I don't know why that was the angle you had to take, but all right. Okay, looking very unlikely we're going to see anything new here. Okay, grab that titanium and then just carve right into the center of this. Make sure that's not a block of titanium as well, and then we're done. Here he goes. Bada bing, bada boom. Nothing new here. Talk about beautiful people with that 11. Okay. Land that on the ground. Stockpile zone. All of this is a stockpile zone. All of this is stuff we presumably want. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's crap. But right now, I'm gonna put it in the ship. Okay. All three of you. And then, what do we got? Four fine meals, 180 insect jelly, eight components, that's not a lot. A thousand salt, 800 steel, which is fine. Uh, 500 sky steel, some jade, titanium, blast eel. I mean, 92 titanium is okay. Some silver. Yeah, it wasn't as valuable as the last one we got, but that's all right. Load them up, and we'll ship it out. Our ship expansion is moving forward, though. And yeah, as this expansion moves forward, what we'll probably do, I think, is maybe even recreate this segment up here. Back here, except we won't need to make another tax. So instead, we what we'll probably end up doing is putting in um, another Marauder up top or something. an awkward place for that uh oh we do have some centipedes still down here okay good 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 this is great in that case let's go ahead and finish all of these off i'd rather all the battles come through ragam or not ragamuffin uh for django anyway ragamuffin's okay i just think fort django is a better choice
it's a bit more foolproof, you know? And when you're dealing like a fool, when you're dealing with a fool like me, you need it to be as foolproof as you can get. All right, I am looking forward to having a residential area here. This might also be the best time to open this area. So let's go ahead and do that too. We're just going to open it here and here. Not to here though. Oh, actually, uh, don't open it to here yet. Yeah, just to here. So we still have to put an airlock there. Even though we don't have enough store for it. But that's fine. Because we got steel coming on the way. And it probably won't get used for that first, but that's okay, I guess. Cool! Also, Dirk's in a better mood now, so it's a little irrelevant now, but whatever. Make me some more Thets. Make me some Skyward Thets! Alrighty. Dude, what the heck? Come on, Gardener! What's going on, buddy? It's goofing it a bit. Sylvia's in a shooting frenzy. It's pretty great. How you guys doing? Still looking at 2.1 days. Okay. Understandable. Yeah, this is probably going to be... Most of what they're doing is going to take some time. Almost definitely. Minor break risk on Peterson over here. That's all right. So we need to get a ship over here. So that we can... Send those mechanoids up to our orbiting ship. You get a shuttle so that we can get it onto the ship. Gotta get my terminology right, man. Otherwise, you're just getting it twisted. Devil sheep lambs, though. No, no, don't do that. Just rescue this one. Thank you, Lyra. Vavoom. Easily peasily. Alright, I haven't really done much at Ragamuffin either, but I don't feel like I need to? I guess. I just feel like things are okay over there. And I'm gonna just leave it alone. I mean, they do have 1,130 days of food. That is an insane amount. Even the ship has 63 days worth of food now. Which is pretty damn good, actually. I'm guessing most of that is in apples. Yeah. Well, I guess apples and a good chunk of it's in coffee as well. Because of course it is. Why would you not have a good chunk of that in coffee? How could you even consider? Right? So we're kind of in a holding pattern now, but I'm really hoping Raynald doesn't goop this up. I want more mech attacks, my dude. I'm sure Cassie Classic is probably, like, upset with me at this point. She's like, what are you doing? I get the call to raids, and, I, and we're like, no. I'm the storyteller now. We're gonna have a mechanoid raid. Let's freaking go Reynold. Don't goof it up. He did not goof it up. My man. They are on their way, and they're sus suspicious again. But that's okay. Their suspicion doesn't last long, because they're kind of dumb. <laughs> so it works out. Right, 
What do we got left to pick up here, boys? I should just be able to click on this to find that out. Let's see. Some more titanium, some more steel. A little bit more of everything still. We have more puppies. Rio and Gladstone, welcome to Microton. Hope you enjoy the world. Mystics decided to pig out on food. That's okay, I think. Heard a popping there for a minute. I don't know what that was. Cleaning bot 32. What happened to you? You got cracked by a boar. I'm sorry to hear this. No worries. We don't need to put a relay up in space. We especially shouldn't need to because we now have a sky core here. That we can connect to. Not that you would notice. Uh, I would have to check that 11 for that. But I still... Oh, there you go. There we go. Alrighty, more thets! Yes! Continue thetting, please. Okay. This thing's already soaking up 6,700 watts. It's gonna soak up a lot more in a little bit, but that's okay. Another nuke is ready. I don't think I need to tell you how exciting that is. I really think we just launch them all at Tony's Outlaws? I mean, we could launch them at, like, the sections of Tony's Outlaws that are farthest out here, you know? The ones that we aren't going to reach by foot, ever. Since the reach is everywhere anyway. I'd just like to, you know, wipe Tony's outlaws off the face of the planet. Is that so much to ask for? They do have a lot of... A lot of colonies, though. Still. Definitely something we could look forward to, you know? I know. Y you're picking it up. Smart lads. You're picking up what I'm putting down. The insect jelly is in the ship. Beautiful. Perfect. I saw the hauling bot go down, going down here, and I saw the name, and I thought we were getting the, our mechanoid raid already. I was excited. Where's our other shuttle? Is it over here? Yeah, it is. Okay, go ahead and actually uh, load it up with a little bit of fuel. We're going to send it over to Microton real quick. So that they can gather up some mechanoids and ship it up to our orbital ship. Remus, what you making? Some advanced components? Well, thank you for your support. It is much appreciated. Yeah, we're just in a holding pattern up here now. That's okay. As long as we have infinite power. In fact, let's uh, let's make it even more infinite. Plan on building another one of these up here. Alright. Now, obviously, we can't build more vanimetric power cells, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We still need to get into rogue AI. Hmm. Which means we still need to get hive data somehow. Josh might have some hive data in him. Let's see if we can get Josh's hive data. Extract all the data from a human brain using mechanoid technology. 
As you might expect from mechanoid technology, the operation really doesn't take into account the well-being of the patient. In other words, this technique cannot be applied without destroying the brain of the patient. More intelligent pawns will yield more data. Well, dang it. Any smart ones over here? Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Well, to be fair, they did attack the ragamuffins. Maybe by default, that means they're not that smart. Still, dang it. Oh, well, maybe we can do some trades for Hive Data. That might end up being the way we have to go. I wonder if you can meet other orbital trade ships. Via... Via being in space, you know? I don't... I don't actually know. But now I'm like... I'm insanely curious now that I thought about it. Is that the last of the Sky Steel, Alex Theo Gray? While Fed 11 goes for the last of the Jade? Nope, that's the last of the Sky Steel. Okay. So we still have some steely steel to, to back up after this. No worries. Or at least not too many worries. Still waiting over here. Nice button down shirt. Colin wants help with harvesting. Mind replication completed. Okay. Couple more of them are done. There they are. Okay, how many cores we got in here now? Twenty-four for ten thousand nine hundred watts. Okay, cool. Let's let's see then. Twenty. 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30, that should be enough for anyone. So not including the ones that are down here, but you, you get what I'm saying. There's like 29 in here. So we almost, they're almost equal. All right, launch this, bring it over to Microton. Hi, Microton. Enjoy a ship. I'm sorry, Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Crafterbot 39 is a hunter? What? What? Huh? I, what? <laughs> what happened? What happened? I don't think I understand. Get back to the ship. What? No, yeah, he's up here now. Why is he suddenly a regular colonist? Uh, deactivate CrafterBot 39 until I can figure out what's going on here. What? What? Huh? Anyway. While I continue to be confused, let's get some mechanoids up on here. Two scythers, two lancers, seven centipedes. Actually pretty damn good. Send the hive data up there, too. We're going to need to start sending it up. All right. Get that loaded up. Let me check something real quick. Uh, I wanted to check the mechanoid workshop. Do we have a way of actually making more hive data? I don't think we do. Nah, we don't really. Dang. Ah, oh well. We'll get it figured out eventually. That said, we have left. Ship is on its way back. I'm going to see if it disappears once it's uh, landed. 
Wait, are you on this list? He is. Okay, I guess I just take hunting off of his thing here and it'll be fine, but that's still definitely weird. Okay, now he's not on that list anymore. Reactivate him. Uh, what? Activate all my bots? No, it's just Crafter Bot 39. What? <laughs> okay, well, we got a Crafter Bot who now acts like a regular colonist. I guess that's the life we live. That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld 1.0. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. It's going to keep coming. It won't stop coming. We got another orbital site, so we got plenty to explore. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays RimWorld 1.0. My name is Thet. There's a lot of 69s appearing on screen right now. Nice. And I will see you in the next video.